Kia ora guys, I am Alex Telford and today I'm going to be showing you a little research project I've been working on. Uh, lately I've been working on getting uh, Qt UIs integrated into Blender as well as working with the QAbstract item model um, which is the hierarchical view you can see here and various other aspects of interface design. So this is what I chose as the topic of my research project was to make a tutorial viewer that you can integrate into applications. Um, th this, this isn't a UI that I've designed to be put into final production, but I will pro probably release the source code sometime in the next few weeks. So we have here uh, a simple, simple tutorial viewer, as you can see. I'm uh, just going to give you a quick demo of working with this in Blender. Then I'm going to show you this working in Unity and Maya, as well as a, another um, UI I built, which is used to construct these um, these tutorials. So let's go ahead and open up a tutorial. For this one here, I'm going to be using my Podracer tutorial. Now, I wrote this Podracer tutorial for um, CG Cookie uh, a little while back. And I've just converted it from the PDF into a XML so that I could demo it here. So this is a fairly straightforward um, tutorial viewer. I've tried to make this as streamlined as possible uh, so that we can have a text a text view, be able to navigate to see your see the steps. Uh, a few things that I felt were important is one being able to see what is an important step with the exclamation mark. And what's just an info step marked with an I, as well as somewhere we have some optional steps which are marked with a circle. So it allows us to distinguish um, how important a particular step is so that the users can better follow along. Another part was uh, zooming in to these images. So I've made sure that we can actually adjust the size of this UI and zoom in to any particular aspect if they want to launch, go into a piece of concept um, if they want to see a particular setting they can do that or they can just view the entire image as a whole of course this can be completely um, stripped right down into just the image if they so wish you can turn it down even further I suppose by taking that off Okay, so that is basically the, all there is to it, to the uh, tutorial view I've created. Um, as you can see, there's still a few little bugs in it, such as these Unicode characters, which I need to, I need to strip out. Um, we, have, we have some settings. I've got one setting at the moment, which allows us to adjust the window opacity. So I find that's helpful if, um, for example, you're just reading the text. So say you're, you're ignoring the images, you can just kind of put that up to the side and keep working as you normally would and just navigate through with the next and previous. Now there is a couple of extra buttons here which don't work at the moment because this is simply a example. Uh, we also we have a shopping cart and a comments. So the shopping cart would effectively take you to a website that we would be able to uh, download or purchase more tutorials um, or alternatively integrate a shop into the UI itself. The comments will take you to the comment section of that page. So for example on this on this pod racer it should take you to the CG Cookie um, pod racer tutorial where you could place a comment, a question, things like that. This could also be extended to have a support system integrated directly into Blender so you'll be able to hit that button, it will pop up with a support um, box. You could type in your question, fire it off, and then um, it would let you know when the instructor has responded. So this is just a just basic UI design at this stage. But yeah, let's go ahead and take a look in the other applications. Just to show you it working. So here we have the window I've launched inside of Unity, so it just loads up the sample one. Um, transparency of course still works. So you can use this, you know, 
um, we could use this for um, data management. I've got another one I'm working on, which is going to be integrated into Unity for managing my assets between projects. And I'll be sharing that one with you probably in a um, month or two's time. Going up to Maya. Same thing. So it's very cross-platform. Um, this is using a style sheet, so I'm, I'm actually specifying the style of the window. That's why it looks the same in each program. Uh, you can have it inherit these styles, but I'm not a fan of doing that just because just for consistency's sake. I uh, found in Unity the um, this, hier this hierarchy just was almost unreadable using Unity's default style sheet. So that's why I've done that. The other one I have is I have a tutorial maker. So this one here is effectively how we edit these tutorials. Um, so you can browse for images to load in. Um, file The file currently doesn't work. Uh, what the file will do is it, is it actually adds an additional button which allows you to specify a project file to when the user is reading that step they can click a button and it will actually load that step into the scene. Currently this works in Maya, uh, does not work in Unity and Blender. So I have omitted that for the meantime. Uh, what else can I show you? So I've got the node type you saw before. So that changes over there. Um, you can add in nodes. You can go as many steps deep as you want. Of course, add in more base steps. Um, saving, yeah, fairly straightforward. We've also got an option here to set to the base directory. So for example, uh, in my Podracer one, I'll set it to my images directory that I set up. Now this base directory doesn't get pasted into the file, but it does allow you to set your base directory for base directory for choosing images. So yeah, that is that is it, I believe. If you have any questions at all, let me know.